In this video, I'm going to talk about at a high level how you integrate with external APIs using Delete Script. I'm going to first talk about an example here that I've got with this code, which is what we're using to integrate with the backend server that we've created. The backend server, it's got a, a Python API where we're syncing some of the settings for my Twilio extension. Just so you can understand it, getting some data here that will be synced, the organization ID, the Zoho API key, Twilio auth token account SID. And then what we do, we include that in what's called the request body. That's basically the data that you're sending. We set the URL. We set some headers. I'll explain headers a little bit later. And then we use invoke URL to send the data to that API using that URL, using a post method. And that basically, if you're sending data, you use post. If you're retrieving data, you use get. And we specify the headers. You can see if I run that, I get a response code 200. Response code 200 basically means that the API request was successful. If you get something like 401, then it means that it wasn't authenticated properly. Let's now look at another example. If we look at a different company's API, this is their API documentation here, where it's for a particular appointment scheduling workflow. And you can see here they've got an example of the URL that would be used. And here they give an example request using curl, which is a, a way of doing API requests from your terminal. So we could theoretically, we could try that out if we wanted to. You can see we get a response like that. And then if we put in the correct authorization API key, where it has token here, then we'd get a, a 200 response. The way that we convert this into Dilute Script, let me show you that. The URL we've got here. The headers, the authorization, and then we do there are, and then you could either hard code the API key here, or you can do something like API key, so it get all the variable. Go higher level API key. Do it like that. And then we can see that the type is get rather than post. So we put that in. Then I'll show you what happens if I run it. We, because I don't have a valid API key. It won't work, but we should be able to get a 401 response. In this case, we, we don't, we're not sending anything, we're just requesting data, so we don't need a body. You can see here, API key is invalid. And the status code is 401. But if we did have a correct API key, then we would get a 200 response.